My name is Christine and I'm going to talk about our new stroller, the Book Pop-Up. The Book Pop-Up consists of three pieces, the chassis, the bassinet, and the stroller seat. I'm going to begin by talking about the chassis, pop-up chassis. This unit has a leather-like handle, uh, which is covered in our Prima Class A fabric, so it's really soft to the touch. The handlebar is adjustable by just pushing the buttons on the side, the large buttons on the side, and you can put it in multiple different positions. This frame has polyurethane wheels and all-wheel suspension and ball bearings. This allows for a nice, smooth ride push. And there's a turn knob on the side of the frame that you just twist, and the, then the frame will, the chassis will maneuver, so the wheels will swivel. And then to lock it, you just lock it back into place. This unit has a large basket, which is spring-loaded and can lock into place also. And this is nice because it just allows you to get um, bigger, awkward size packages in and out of the basket a lot easier. One of the nice things about this, this unit is how it folds and it has a really easy, simple fold to it. I'm going to show you when I have the seat and the bassinet on it, but I'm first going to show you without, without those. You're going to want to squeeze this handle, this release here, and then it just folds together. The unit self-standing, it stands on its own. To open it, you're just going to want to press down on this hook on the left side and the frame just falls open. The book pop-up bassinet is shown on the bassinet stand right now, which is sold as an accessory and is not included in the, in the purchase of the book pop-up. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how to use the bassinet on the chassis. The bassinet comes with a boot, just like a wing cover. The hood, similar to the hood on the stroller seat, has a zippered panel, or portion of the hood that you can zipper. And again, you have a panel that's mesh, so it allows a little ventilation. The bassinet has an adjustable headrest, and the way you adjust that is by pulling this strap here, and it has three different positions. The bassinet has a removable padding, and it is approved for overnight sleeping. The way you remove it from the chassis and from this bassinet stand is by <coughs> squeezing this release here, and that would remove it from the frame. Underneath here, I'm going to show you again how it works on the frame, but these pieces right here you squeeze together, and that's how you fold the bassinet down so it's flat. One thing that makes the book pop up so unique is that you can fold this unit with the bassinet still attached to the chassis. Very simple. Press the two buttons on the side of the hood. To press the hood back and then underneath the bassinet are those two levers that you squeeze together and it pushes allows the bassinet to lay flat and then the simple one hand fold you squeeze again the stroller self standing stands on its own um, when you go to open it again it's just as easy you press down on the hook on the one side of the chassis frame pops open, and then you're going to just put the hood in this position, and then just snap it up and it pops into place. And you're going to want to make sure it's locked into place by making sure the pieces underneath the bassinet are out to the furthest position and snap into place. And you're ready to roll. The book pop-up has a reversible seat. The way you reverse the seat is by pressing the buttons on top of the armrest, and then underneath the armrest are triggers that you squeeze. So you press, squeeze, and just lift up. Then when you put it back on the frame, you just line it up with the indicators and snap it into place. It has an expandable hood, and 
It has a panel that you can flip up, and then that exposes a mesh panel, which allows for ventilation. It has three position backrest, and there's just a, a squeeze lever that you squeeze on the back of the seat to recline. This has a bumper bar that's swing open, and it can swing open from either position or either side, excuse me. And what's nice about that is it allows you to get larger children in and out without having to, you know, lift them up so high. The footrest to push it up or put it in the up position, all you have to do is just lift up on it. And then to lower it, there are squeeze triggers on, this, uh, on each side. You just squeeze them and push it down. When you want to fold this unit with the seat on and the seat's facing out, you're going to want to squeeze the backrest lever and push the seat all the way forward like that and then do the squeeze release again it's self-locking it stands on its own and then to open it it's the lever on the side you release it just flips open when you want to fold it when the unit is facing the other position or when the baby's facing you you're going to want to recline the backrest instead of pushing it forward. So, so recline the backrest. Nice compact fold. The book pop-up has built-in adapters that allows any Peg Perigo infant car seat to attach directly to the chassis. And that would include our 3030 car seat plus the new 435 that's coming out. The way that the car seat attaches to the chassis is <clears throat> the same way it attaches to the base. Um, you're going to want to, when you release it from the, the base or from the frame, you're just going to squeeze the back of the seat and lift up. When you reattach it to the chassis, this middle place right here is what you're going to put onto the chassis. There's a bar on the seat here, and you're just going to snap it into place. And then you have a travel system.